Welcome to this scripting resource video on After Effects scripting and Extend Script. So today I want to talk about the different resources you can use while um, learning After Effects scripting and how to develop your skills quickly. Because with good resources you can learn very quickly. You can really quickly get a hang of how to use scripts, how to make scripts and how to overcome the challenges um, that you face when you're making scripts. So first of all is the documentation. This documentation is very nice to get to know all the objects that are within the After Effects structure, what they do, all the functions they have and all the attributes they have. They're all here. You can search through them when you want one of them, when you want to use one of them, search through and exactly see what they can do. If you want to use different effects, different things for every version of After Effects and it doesn't matter which language it has, you have to have the match names. Redefinery has a full match name list over here where you can find all these match names. This is really handy for when you're scripting and you wanna make a script that everybody can use in all versions of After Effects. So go to Redefinery and then go to the match name list over here. Then you have the Adobe Tools Guide, JavaScript Tool Guide. This is a really good um, handy PDF with a lot of knowledge that you wouldn't find anywhere else on the internet. So it's really, specific knowledge on specific things you may want to do in After Effects. So if you run into a problem, this is most likely the place where you find the answer for the complex problem you're running into if you're a little bit deeper into After Effects scripting. And the next one is the API documentation about year from yearbook. Um, this is really nice for filtering and quickly searching on different objects. It doesn't work for After Effects. It does have all the classes for Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign. But what is really great for is they also have all the classes of JavaScript. So all the classes you can use within ExtendScript of the JavaScript library and all the script UI classes. So this is really handy when you're programming. It's really nice to see all the different properties and all the different methods that you can use within script UI or within JavaScript. So for that, you can use the API documentation by yearbook. Then if, you're, if you can't find the answer nowhere and you have a question and you seem to cannot find it, you have to ask it on the After Effects forum. You can um, search on topics over here, scripting, expressions, SDK, this is for plugin scripting or plugin creation, programming. Just click on scripting, you find all the posts on scripting over here. It's nice. So if you can't find the answer online, you just ask it on the After Effects scripting form or just the After Effects general form, um, but you can use the topic scripting. A Enhancers is about um, enhancing After Effects. It's quite an old form. It's not that active anymore because you can find a lot of really golden stuff on here. When you search through it, it's really nice. Just browse through it, you will learn a lot. Then Script UI. If you want to learn Script UI, I highly recommend Peter Scarell's Script UI for Dummies. It's such a nice PDF file. It just explains it very clearly how to use um, Script UI, how to make um, different interfaces for After Effects. It's really nice. So read that if you want to learn more about Script UI. And then the API documentation by Yearbook has that Script UI section where all the classes are in so you can go to there too and then if you don't want to learn script ui but you want to quickly make a ui for after effects you can create dialogues in here and you can just add different things that you want your dialogue to contain buttons sliders listen you can edit it over here but i highly recommend you to actually learn how to program these um, script ui parts because it gives you way more um, flexibility on how you make your UIs. So I highly recommend just reading this one and really understanding it deeply instead of just building a script in here because this does limit you to a certain extent. Free scripts are really nice to just look into how other developers solve different problems and learn things about how you could solve those problems. For example, CR Green Scripts has a lot of scripts over here and you can just look into them you can just click on here and then you can read the whole script and you can see what it what everything does and all the functions they have how he builds his ui but when you actually read it you do learn a lot you do learn a lot about how other people solve different problems and how you be able to solve different problems 
in the future. The Redefinery script bundle is really nice. It contains 51 scripts. You can look into them too. Look how they solve those problems that these scripts fix. One that I really use a lot is Gimme Prop Path. This is a really nice script for After Effects for expressions or for scripting both. So if you select match names over here and then you select uh, for example the scale property or rotation property and you get property path you see the path within the After Effects object structure with match names already in here. So this is really nice if you if you want to access this skill with from your script you can just click on that and then you see the path that you need to take or for example this start from this animator you get this path it's a long path but it really shows it clearly where it is within the after effects structure i use this a lot when scripting i like rec highly recommend you download the scripting package and then install this gimme prop path next one HTML html5 panels i never did make an html5 panel i do know how to um, script HTML5, CSS, and After Effects, but never combine them. It's quite a thing to do. You can really build beautiful, beautiful UI with it. I am gonna do tutorials on it in the future. I am gonna dive in deep. Uh, but for now, this is the main resource I found with almost everything you wanna know about After Effects extensions, which is with HTML5 and CSS. It does have a lot of information on all this it has samples it has um, all the different versions and how to install them it's really nice then when you also have a short guide but this one is way more in-depth so I highly recommend you use this one um, extend script is based on JavaScript so if you want a deep understanding of how the language works you can read um, books on JavaScript this is a really nice free PDF like website where you can just read and get a deeper understanding on, of how each thing within extend script works and maybe you'll um, discover new things that you can do that you never knew you could do within extend script it covers a lot it covers the basics functions data structures objects and arrays and it covers it in depth so you can really get a better grasp at how these different things work and if you're programming and you just want to quickly know how a variable works again you can go to w3 schools and it shows you quick examples how variables work how strings work how to concatenate strings and other types of things so that's really awesome while you're programming to just have this on the side to look up different things all the resources motion script by dan Eberts, the og of scripting it's an old site, but there's really gold information on here, so you can go here, um, get into the tutorials, read them, learn a lot. And the old documentation by Adobe, I don't recommend using this. I recommend using this interactive documentation because it's just more easy readable and more easily searchable, so that's better. Two special things, um, a podcast about scripting, really like this podcast with Zach Lovett. It's great, it inspired me. You can see how, where scripting can take you within After Effects, how you can help different people with really professional tools and how you can earn money while you're doing it. Also an article about After Effects extensions with HTML5, really great article of the challenges you come across um, while building. It's a great read to inspire you and also very informative on how to create extensions. So that's it. Hope you liked it. Um, hope you get into the scripting resources and learn a lot from it. See you in the next video.